we're going to read a Florida story today. The title of my book is My Grandma Lives in Florida. Are you ready? Let's read our story. My Grandma Lives in Florida by Ed Shankman. My grandma lives in Florida, and that is where we go. When daddy says he cannot stand another inch of snow. Cause Florida's the sunshine state, and that's what makes that state so great. The sun down there is big and bold, and round and warm and bright as gold. And right beneath the golden sun is grandma's house. The yellow one. Houses are lovely all over the nation, but under the sun is my favorite location. When we go inside, Grandma gives me a kiss. In fact, there's no place on my face she will miss. I may wriggle and giggle and grumble and hiss, but only a Grandma can kiss you like this. Then, after she hugs me with all of her might, she looks me all over and laughs with delight. She squeezes my cheeks and she ruffles my hair, and she tells me how happy she is that I'm there. It's a lot to put up with, but as you can see, I love my grandma, and grandma loves me. She says that I grew and I'm so handsome too. And I look very much like my dad used to do. And maybe that's true, but it strikes me as weird because I'm very small and I don't have a beard. She brings me a pear and the old teddy bear and the box of crayons she keeps for me there. And then while I color, she reads me some rhymes that she's read to me happily hundreds of times. There are rhymes about giants and witches and kings, about pirates and parrots and angels with wings. And those rhymes, when they're read, ring like chimes in my head, which makes rhyming the best way a thing can be said. After all, as you know, a word's only a word, and a word by itself disappears once it's heard. But you put that same word in the end of a rhyme, and my friends, it remains in our brains for all time. Grandma gives me the room with the big fluffy bed, and a big fluffy pillow just right for my head. And that's all I recall, because in the next minute, my dream has arrived, and I'm already in it. This morning, we grab all the foods we can reach and we pack ourselves off to a Florida beach. The sand all around us is gleaming and white because the sun overhead is so brilliantly bright. It shines like a beam on the Florida crowd down from Altamonte Springs to Kissimmee St. Cloud till every last shiver of coldness is gone from Lake Okeechobee to Boca Raton from Neptune Beach to Cocoa Beach and West Palm Beach to Vero Beach. That sun warms each beach it can reach and rest assured it reaches each. My grandma is wearing her big floppy hat and her sunglasses aren't much smaller than that. Her robe is so fluffy she looks like a cat and she wonders out loud if it makes her look fat. No fatter than yesterday, Grandma, I say. You look just the same as you do every day. And that makes her laugh, which I find quite confusing. I can't always tell why she thinks I'm amusing. But this is the thing that makes Grandma's grand. They love you for reasons you can't understand. My grandmother thinks that I'm clever and cute. If I stand on my head, if I blow on a flute. If I say funny things or I make funny faces or if I sneak into ridiculous places or play with my nose or my toes on my toys or today when I made an unusual noise.
Whatever I do, Grandma claps and she shrieks, and she tells all of her neighbors about it for weeks. There are others who think I'm all right or okay, and a, a few who'd prefer that I just go away. But I'm the best thing in my grandmother's day, and they say that's the way things are likely to stay. I jump in the waves and I'm having a ball. My grandma wades in, which means hardly at all. She takes tiny steps, holding on to my shoulder. I guess when you're older, the water is colder. After a while, we go for a walk, just my grandma and me, because we like to talk. She tells me the names of the flowers and birds. She sings a few songs. She knows all the words. She talks about life in the old days and how the world was much different than how it is now. But even back then, they had beaches and sun, and it sounds like they found a few ways to have fun. It all seems quite strange as we walk by the sea that my grandma was once just as little as me. But growing, I guess, is just something we do. And I think before long, it could happen to you. She tells me a joke and she gives me a hug. She points out a clam and a crab and a bug. I find her a shell and she smiles so wide that I think she has Florida sunshine inside. The next week or so, we are busy as bees, seeing all of the sights that a sightseer sees. If you like seeing sights, I am begging you, please. You must make your way down here and see some of these. With so many ways to have fun in the sun, you can run to each other and still never be done. The doing, the seeing is all very freeing. And sometimes the best fun of all is just being. So at times we just be, grandma, daddy, and me. We just be in the house or we be at the sea. And I see as we be that we're happy together and happy is easy in Florida weather. Now, some states are known for a bird or a plant. They can choose what they like. I'm not saying they can't, but down here in Florida, gators are king. And if you're fond of beasts, that's a gator's the thing. A gator is great from the jaws to the gizzard. Why, only a wizard could make such a lizard with sharp, pointy teeth and our tails and our scales. We're much cooler than woodchucks or llamas or snails. Now let's say you're seeking a cool souvenir to remind you of all the good times you had here. Well, whether you purchase a bag or a bonnet, you'll probably find that a gator is on it. Someday I'll move here for good. Wait and see, cause it's the best place for a gator to be. But the moment has come that the visit is done and we must say farewell to the Florida sun. If you travel like I do, I think you will learn that while travel is nice, it is nice to return. So after I'm coddled and cuddled and kissed, we head back to our home and the things that we've missed. And though I'm no longer in Florida now, the great sunshine state is still with me somehow because I have a picture of my grandma's face and Florida gators all over the place. And that's our story, My Grandma Lives in Florida. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again very soon.